Hey folks, I'm back again. Um, and it seems like we're starting off today with an auspicious uh, phase of the moon, so that's exciting. Um, we have a couple of chores to do, and then we're going to head off to the castle probably. Um, but first I want to just consolidate all my stashes once and for all. Now that I have the bag of the Hesperides, it should just be one trip. Um, and in the process, I'm just going to... Um, Buy some random stuff from shops. Uh, so, like, I know there's a scare monster scroll somewhere in one of the higher shops, so I'm gonna want to um, buy that. Possibly some other stuff. Um, and, yeah, just make sure we have all the loot we need from higher up in the dungeon. Um, So yeah, we're going to start off with that somewhat unexciting um, somewhat unexciting task. Um, I think I may also do some sacrificing with the bag of tricks finally. I don't know, it seems like now would be a good time. Well, actually, yeah, so I'm about to do the castle. I really should get Excalibur, so I should be crowned myself. Um, in fact, I'm just going to go pray real quick, see if I can get crowned. Um, is that a nurse? It is a nurse. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, let's do some dancing. I'm at pretty low HP for my level. Um, anyway. Oh, I'm still wearing something. Oh, I didn't take off anything. How did that... Oh, I took off my rings. That would do it. Okay, um... Anyway, uh... So, the castle is... I'm not too terribly worried about it. The problem is, depending on where trapdoors are and stuff, I could accidentally fall into Gehenna. Um, and anyway, the Valley of the Dead is next regardless. And, of course, the Valley of the Dead has wraiths in it. Um, which can do a lot of draining damage. <laughs> I would prefer not to be drained, so um, Excalibur is one of the few sources of drain resistance that's available to me as a lawful total. Um, plus it's just a darn good weapon. Um, my quest artifact is not going to be terribly useful them because fire damage just isn't terribly helpful. Um, so, okay, is that the nurse gone? Whoa, nope, the nurse is still there at 31.8. Oh, right next to the long room. Cool. Um, I'm gonna just try to keep rain away from nurse. I don't want the nurse killed yet. Anyway. Um, anyway, so uh, is the long worm trapped? I think maybe it is. At least until the nurse moves. It's funny. Um, where was I? Right, so Shukat is not terribly useful in Gehenna, and uh... Wait, did it just kill the nurse? It did. At least there's a nurse corpse. Cool. Two tins of nurse meat now. Um, anyway, uh, and Excalibur is a very solid weapon anywhere, so... It's good to have for several reasons. Um, actually, I should... Yeah, anyway. Uh, so, I'm going to go down, pray real quick. It's likely I will not get crowned immediately, but might as well get the process started. No Tengu Corpse that time either. Not having much luck with that. Oh, shit. 
I forgot about that. Whoops. Well, that was easy. Oh, fuck. I always forget that Lawfuls need a longsword to get Excalibur. That was really stupid. Well, that sucked. Um, and I have two useless spell books. Okay, this is not a good start to my session. But, oh well. I guess I'll just have to sacrifice a lot. I can sacrifice a priest, right? I think that's fine. Yeah. Damn. Oh well. Anyway. It's such a weird quirk for Excalibur needing to be for a long sword needing to be wielded. <sighs> but, um... I should have remembered. Oh, and I don't need a potion. Okay. <sighs> well, that means I'm doing a lot of sack festing, I guess. That's exciting. I might do the castle first. Uh... Today is not a good day. I thought I was weak because of eating, and then I almost choked to death. Very fun. Um, yeah, I was. I just lost some strength. That's all. Uh, Pegasi start out resistant and sleep resistant, so. That was not... I didn't need to feed a Shrieker for that reason to um, rain, but might as well keep rain fed nonetheless. Okay, did not get stoned by the Cockatrice. At least one thing is not totally... Or not, at least I'm not totally screwing up everything. Just keep the tin and get out until I really need the weight difference. Because it's annoying taking it in and out of my inventory all the time. Oh, I should also check out these statues, I suppose. Um, the alignment penalty isn't a big deal to me anymore. Not super useful, but okay. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I was like two steps away from magic whistling rain over. But rain is just so fast. And I have no turn undead. Um, yeah, the oracle is absolutely terrifying. The Oracle has an 88 passive magic missile attack so that happens every time something attacks, which basically means it will kill most pets, except those that attack from range, which I currently don't have. Um, anyway. Okay, so in short order, I have failed to get Excalibur, killed the priest, and gotten my pet killed immediately after they killed the priest. <sighs> Not my day. Um, just goes to show you, you always need to take a moment to stop and think before you start playing again. Oh, and I'm still super satiated, so I should not be eating. Just glad I haven't choked to death yet. Um, so I'm going to just pop in to the golem level. Because there's a ring there. I'm pretty sure none of the loot in Gollum's level is actually useful to a late game turtle. 
There is an elven chainmail that can generate. Oh, I think I missed this trapdoor possibility over here. Um, but of course I can't wear that. But it could be useful to some uh, characters, if it, especially if it's a white metal. Regardless, the ring is nice, just for poly fodder if nothing else, and probably it is nothing else because I already have. Um, I already have multiple rings of invisibility. Oh, I should take off slow digestion. That's part of the problem. And instead, why don't we put on invisibility or? Yeah. There we are. Oh, and we found the Radiant Invisibility before Gollum. Not that it matters because we have seen Invisible this game, but cool. Um, and there's Gollum. Um, I'm gonna just go in the water, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see very well because um, the level's dark, so I don't get the normal large-scale vision that a turtle often gets in water, but, uh, oh well. Um... scroll of fire let's see if I can pick it up so when things drop in the water if they're just hanging out in the water they never dilute further but when you pick it up and they're in your inventory sometimes they do dilute, dilute further it's rather confusing this would have been a good place to get some kelp fronds for rain except that's no longer really a concern that's fun. Um, so yeah, here's the first dark, uh, first chest. We got a pair of goggles. These are vaguely useful to other characters because they allow people to see underwater. But if you're not a turtle, but I already am a turtle, so it doesn't matter. Um, you might think it would be really helpful for the plane of water, but the plane of water is also dark. So even with goggles or as a turtle, you can only see one square in front of you. Um, which makes it... the goggles largely useless at the moment. But at some point... oh, that's not a kelp from Um, at some point in the future there will, uh... There will be a, um... a level that, or a branch that has a lot of water and so the goggles will be quite useful there presumably. They aren't guaranteed to show up in the chest but there's a pretty good chance so Gollum's level might become less of an afterthought. As it is I pretty much never go in unless I really really want a ring of invisibility and or I have a source of remove curse on hand. Um, Downstairs is always hidden down here. All the better to panic somebody who's never been on the Gollum level before and wants to leave. Alrighty. Um, I guess it is time to buy random stuff. If I can get the orc to poison the shop, that'd be fine. Poisoned crude error of frost, my goodness. Can't use them for forging, so I don't particularly care if 
they get fired and wasted. Oh well, that's all of them, I guess. Um, alrighty. The scroll turned to dust immediately, so I guess it was cursed. Good thing I didn't try to pick it up before. Um, these will still be useful. Potions and wands. Um, I'll take all the scrolls. You can always blank and polymorph them or whatever. Um, and all these other things are kind of pretty useful. So that is 229. Or that's 1,000 assortments of merchandise. Luckily, I have plenty of gold. So, I'll just buy everything. Alrighty. And... Man, I'm just abusing all my stats. I mean, I am super satiated, so that's expected, I suppose. Uh... I guess we should check out this shop. I can't remember if it has any useful stuff. Room of Curse, sure, why not? Nah. You never know when I'm out of eh. No, I'm not going to bother with this bubble. Uh, but sure, I'll take a carrot. You can never have too much vegetarian food on the off chance it's needed. Plus, they can kill blindness, not that old. I expect to use it for that. Okay, um... Oh wait, do I still have... random stuff? I do. Okay, do I need any of this? I guess I'll take a mithril arrow, even though it's currently not useful. Um... Oh, I need the tinning kit, for sure. Um, my current tinning kit is close to running out of charges, so uh, I'll definitely want another one on hand. Oh, and I need to put my speed hat back on. I took it off so that the grease wouldn't wash off in the water, but yeah, obviously I should be wearing that. Um, oh right, there's an amulet in this store, I believe. Um, oh, and it seems all the zombies have gone, which is somewhat surprising. Or maybe there's just a mimic in the store. I don't remember. Ring of Increased Accuracy, that's great. New Spellbook, sure. Unknown Scroll. Solid chance of it being punishment, but I'll buy it anyway. Here. Let's just identify it first out of curiosity. Uh, and I guess... Ring of accuracy, I'd like to know what its enchantment is. Negative, okay. I'm not sure what's the spell book. Levitation, not super useful. Um, and charges of the tin kit, not many. Okay, well that was somewhat of a bummer. And I don't have enough gold for everything either. Okay, what don't I super need? The levitation spell book. I don't really <coughs> I don't really polypile spellbooks, so a spellbook that whose spell I don't really need is just deadly. Um, and I can buy everything else. Okay. Oh, I am visible, so it stops the keepers not letting me in. There we go. We've got a Tengu on the level. With my luck, it will also not drop a corpse. Let's see if I can track it down. They're just so jumpy, especially when they're peaceful. It's really hard to pin them down. Luckily, if you anger them, they tend to be a bit easier to predict. Either way, no corpse. Oh, and I'm no longer satiated, so I don't have to worry about choking to death currently. 
very exciting. All right, what do I want out of here? Gold, sure. Mithril, can never say no to that. Plus two is good. Um, mithril, silver, also want that. Don't know these, maybe they're useful. I'll actually take all the daggers in case I want to make more spears. are similarly useful. So are spears. I'll take the staff, sure. Mithril katana is hard to say no to. Well, I don't know if we'll use it. Take these as well. Some for forging. Most of them for forging. Um, speaking of which, I fluffed the mithril barding upstairs. I won't take that down because I probably won't get another rideable pack, but I should remember it's there just in case. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, okay. No point in selecting more stuff if you're not actually going to be able to take it out yet. Um, don't need the apples out anymore. Out. Don't really need a magic whistle out. Don't need the tinning kits out or this or this. Okay. What else do I want? Uh, I guess I'll bring this steel atlas. I should switch it out for the iron one I'm currently bringing, uh, using. The iron one is only a point more accurate, That's and other than that, the steel one is better in terms of material and the weight and stuff, so I should be using it. Oh, and here's the curse tool atlas that I keep on forgetting to... I should use that one if I remove its curse. Um, I guess I'll take this silver thing too, even though it's cursed, and the knives. I was mentioning those. Um, what else? I guess it's pretty good. Um, to each. Some of those tins might be useful, you never know. K rations are pretty solid food. Um, Lumpus wafers for sure. Quantum mechanic and nymphs I want. I'll take some extra candles and the flat will have more. That's all I need. Oh. Still wasn't enough. Okay, take the third. Uh, more nymphs. Um, candles. Lanterns. Actually, I'll take all these tools. I should probably polymorph for a stethoscope at some point. And thus, I need random tools for that. Speaking of tools, mirror. Yeah, let's take that. Might as well pick up other random tools we see in the dungeon if we're gonna 
do this. And we're ready to go again. Um, and Bag of Hesperides is showing its magic. I am not even close to burdened, even though I'm carrying around quite a bit of stuff. I could actually pick up the steel barding and bring that down and remain unencumbered. So I'm going to do that. Um, why not? Okay. Another quantum mechanic, sure. Should I suck? I do need artifacts, let's go for it. Great monster memories at the moment. Oh, can't use that. Oh, and then Ludios. Yet another place I need to loot for all it's worth. Okay, that much gold will come with me. But now, once it's in the lovely bag once more. Okay, what do I want here? Might as well see what's up with these. Daggers are often magical. Definitely want those. Um, let's just put other stuff in the bag too so I can lift more things at once. Okay, um, spears, 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 spears. So I'm only picking up the metallic stuff because it's the only stuff that can be forged. Um, there's some pretty, pretty solid stuff here. I guess I should bring these two. Still have plenty of space to spare. Like 600 units of stuff can go back and also be fun. Um, don't really care about armor though. Nor C rations. I have plenty of good food. But K rations I'll take. And boy, is there a lot of them. I did a pretty good job of stacking things up for once. Normally I. Uh, Normally, soldiers are more scattered, or the ice kill them in more scattered areas, so I don't have as good a uh, stack like that to pick stuff up from. Okay, I am getting somewhat close to burdened, surprising me. Well, not surprising, I'm carrying a shit ton of stuff, but. That's about all. Just seeing if there's anything good here, you know. Okay, that's good enough for me. Oops, wrong trap. Actually, what's over here? I forget. Okay, I guess I could pick that up. Um, I want to be able to. More tools, lovely. Alrighty. Now we're really good. Okay. 
I was trying to find the trap square. Oh, I think... So unlike stairs, where you can always select them as a place to travel to, um, you can only travel to a trap if it's visible. Otherwise, it won't. The game won't work. So like if you fast travel with underscore, you can type like the greater than sign to go to the stairs, or you can type a carrot to go to a nearby trap. But you can only go to a nearby trap if there's not actually stuff on it, or otherwise the game doesn't recognize the trap being there. Um, which is mildly annoying. There's still Tango here, there's not. And where's their parting? Saddles can still be useful since they're forged into bar to kit partings, even though I can't use a saddle as it is since turtles don't ride. So we'll keep that annotation there. Okay, back in our old stomping grounds. Still unencumbered. Is this like a gift that I missed? No, it's not. It's not blessed. Um, another mirror. And we're just under the weight limit as we get back to the stash. Okay, well, I'm not going to say I'm happy about um, how this game has been, this session has been going, but at least the chores are out of the way. Sure, let's take these. What's in this? Oh, it's going to sack. Don't need a lot of armor. But I will take the extra tools for polymorphing. Okay. Of course, now I have to put everything in here, which is annoying. Okay, so actually I was about to move everything into um, the chest and did a little time skip for that, but I realized I should totally do magic detection now. Um, so first I just remove all the scrolls of scare monster I have, put them in my oil skin sack. Then I tip everything in the chest, or, and then actually while things are still organized nicely, I should take out a scrolls of magic protection as well. And a potion of holy water. Okay, um, and then I tip everything in the chest on the ground because magic detection does not um, it does not detect things that are in a container, which kind of sucks. Uh, so I'm just going to tip everything in Hesperides onto the ground, along with the stuff in my chest, leaving only stuff in my old skin sack, which is already ID'd. So, um, now we read a scroll of magic detection. 
you find out also that something in oh elven boots and elven cloak are magical obviously robes and elven cloak okay those don't matter in terms of what we have here um let's see silver press for bolt of lightning i don't know if Our steel short sort of fire that's new, not terribly useful. Long sort of excellence is kind of useless. Okay, slightly disappointing. Um, oh well. Most of the scrolls and stuff we already ID'd. Potions, rings. So, yeah, less useful than it might be if I hadn't already ID'd a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, there were no weapons and such. Um, anyway, now I have to shovel everything back into the uh, mythical chest, so that's exciting. And there will be another time skip for this. Alrighty, so everything's back in the chest, now we just need to figure out stuff we want to take out of the chest again, because... We want to carry some stuff around in our bag, obviously. Um, specifically, let's see. We want. Oh, we should rebuild. Er, Silver Triton's probably the better offhand weapon now. That we're flirting with going into Gehenna. I'll just leave this. Still try it in here, actually. Um, okay. Uh, so weapon-wise, steel Atlas. Where did that go? Here it is. Um, we we'll want tins of good tins of meat. Uh, Curse this so we can get our strength back up. Wolf Spain's definitely useful. A couple food rations. Another eucalyptus leaf, why not? Um, several tripe rations, because we're going into Wraith territory. Uh, a couple extra lizard corpses. Mm, scroll of Earth. Emergency Genocide. Uh, scroll of Magic Detection for the Castle. And Stinking Cloud might be useful for the Castle. What the heck? Uh, Curse Teleport. Scroll for level porting if that's necessary. Spare potion of holy water. Mm. Full healing potions. And a couple of paralysis potions. Never know when those will be in coming handy. Okay, just wanted to stop while I knew I could carry all the things at once. I do need to um, update my spell books as well. Where's my fail? 64%. There we go, finally. Um, cool. 
Uh, and let's eat this spinach real quick. Back to 19 strength, cool. So the pesky orcs don't bother us for now. And let's continue on. We've stopped at rings, so what else do we want? Uh, game constitution, I guess. Invisibility, levitation, polymorph control. Um, slight digestion, sustainability. And then wand-wise, we want cold wands. Take these out for sacrifice and fly. I actually went hold on. Uh, digging, fire, light, lightning. Um, I guess some magic missile wounds. Make it visible. Polymorph, sleep, slow monster, speed monster, striking. And a couple of teleport ones for good luck. One pickaxe, obviously. Spare lamp, make a tinning kit, and a touchstone. Oh, didn't quite get all of them. Okay, put all these wands in except lightning. Um, you know, my cancellation so it won't blow my bag up. It's always good to know. Not a. There we go. Um, okay, and then rings two, and this extra lamp, and then what did I miss? I think oh my tin kit and the touchstone. Oh, and a magic whistle in each, I guess. I don't current or just a magic whistle even. Because you never know when you'll get a pet, and then it's a pain if you don't have a magic whistle to carry them around. Or to move them around. Okay, um, looks like we're good. Alright, so I'm actually not going to do a lot of sacrificing. I think I'm going to. Um, I think I'm gonna head for the castle, see if I can eat some raids for uh, levels, and then do some sacrificing once I'm more likely to get artifacts. That said, I'm not gonna turn down some free corpses either. Oh, I still need to do these spell books to keep off. spells do I need? Detecting scene doesn't matter for now anyway. Create monster doesn't also doesn't matter for now. Okay, I actually don't need to find any more spells. Cool. And we're off. There we go. There's still Tango here. Nope. We need to get better about annotations. Oh, one last thing I need. Bell of opening because I don't currently have another way of opening things, so I'll need that for most of the castles. There's different versions of the castle, and most of them have the Wand of Wishing in a crystal chest, so I'll need a Wand of Opening to get that. I'm still blind, whoops. And we're off. I'm lazy, so I'm going to invoke... Shoot. 
for levitation so I don't have to worry about my greased helm and anyway. Okay, we are in the castle. Um, let's cast the detect monster. Oh, we're not in the castle, we're just in the level 1 Medusa. Whatever. Uh, statue of a black light. I'm not gonna ponder the physics of that. A wraith, and then a bunch of nymphs, which is whatever. Is this a piece? That's not a piece. Oh, yeah, I feel like I need that. So we've got a player monster, probably with a good amount of loot. Very exciting. Um, and quite easy to kill as well. Nice. Let's see. Expensive camera could always be useful. And I guess the credit card for. Uh, Probably piling once again, and only some scrolls of magic mapping that don't really sell it. In terms of loot, plus food or whatever. And then we'll take that also from probably piling. I really want a stethoscope. Right, that's. Nymph. A lot of nymphs on this level, it seems. Man, I often ignore tools because many of them are pretty useless later in the game. I mean, after you already have one of them. But it's amazing how many there are when you're actually looking for them. I should probably turn on my lamp. It's not like I'm... I have plenty of light sources, so I don't really need to save it. And who knows, maybe someday I'll find a magic one. You never know. Another useless spell book. I should untrap this, I suppose. Might be good. And level teleporters aren't that useful because they get used up. But, I don't know, maybe someday I'll decide to use it to do something. I don't know why. Protection ring. That's cool. I can't remember. Are they edible? I don't think so. Or no, they are edible, but I just haven't done it yet. Yeah, okay. Then very cool. This level is also not the castle, as we've seen. But, who knows, maybe there's some good stuff here. Black opal, okay. And we've oh, got stand. I'm really hoping for a high level so that I can get good sacrifice gifts. Um, in general, I think a high level is a dangerous thing in Evil Hack because there's a lot of really scary monsters. I mean, it's true even in vanilla that sometimes you don't want a really high level, but I think that goes double in Evil Hack. 
Um, but, uh, I do want to get some good artifacts, so I'm going to try to get a high level and then maybe I'll drain myself afterwards. What the heck, let's explode the sphere from the fire. Not that it matters. So many mirrors. I guess I should dim these folks as well. Definitely be able to get telecarditis from all those corpses if I need to. Famous last words. Um, I'm gonna leave the statue. It's super heavy, or the figurine. It's heavy, and I don't need an anaconda pets. But it does have a digestion attack. Um, well, it's always there if I want it. Luck. Okay. My lamp is flickering, so I'm going to make an effort to save it now. Oh, magical eye has a gaze attack. So I won't blind myself for that. is that I felt deathly sick after that. So there's a 1 in 10 chance for the character to get sickness resistance when they're crowned. Um, I did not get it this time, so that, you know, is to be accepted, but expected, but it's a shame, I suppose. Okay, this looks kind of castly. It is very castly. Alrighty. Black Dragon means we get our disintegration resistance up. Um, nothing much to speak of otherwise. Oh, an Elder Kirin. That's the black A in the top right. They're like a Kirin except evil. Um, that's literally it. And they show up in Gehenna, unlike most angels. Or other angels. Okay. Uh, Minotaur, easy kill. That's the case. And let's see what we've got. I've always found it weird that storm giants oops, don't have electrical attacks. Not that I'm suggesting that they get them, because they'd be super annoying, but... <laughs> okay, I believe this is like the quote-unquote normal castle, which I believe has a solid chance of a soldier stealing the wand of wishing from you. So that's not fun. Stupid Zorns. Okay, uh, don't really have an option. I'm gonna blow up the drawbridge. I mean, I wanted to do that regardless. And I don't really want to take off my hat. So I'm just going to deal with the fact that the grease will wash off. Um, but luckily, 
all of this stuff in here is very susceptible to me just killing it from the water. Ooh, what's over here? All right, I guess I'll pick that up. Just too easy. <laughs> it's so weird that I can see them picking stuff up, but I don't see um, see the monsters themselves. I'm hoping to actually get on the spot because there's starting to be a fair bit of loot here. So I'd like to pick it up before monsters use it. I guess I'll take a Mithril Dwarvish Spear, even though it's not super related. Or no, I'll actually just leave the weapons. I have a scroll of magic detection for this exact. Do I? I can't remember if I actually brought one. Hopefully I do have a scroll of magic protection for the precise purposes of. Whoa! Platinum arrow of fire? Question mark. That kind of sucked. Oh, and now that spot is ice. Which, oddly enough, you can see monsters on. Very strange. Woo! Battle of the Scroll. And just so many rusty metal metallivores like type folks. Very annoying. coming towards me. There we go. Ooh, a wand of lightning. Very exciting. I wonder if monsters will zap stuff at me when I'm in water. I mean, I haven't seen it happen yet, but... Okay, let's see if we can nab... Ooh, lots of good stuff. But mostly I wanted the potion of healing. of full healing. I absolutely want that, obviously. This is kind of lame, but it's not like the soldiers actually pose much of a danger to me anyway. So I don't feel particularly bad about this silly strategy. Odd uh, that the monsters aren't coming into the doorway anymore, though. But I, I'll just go in from here. Oh, great. Now all the soldiers are awake. So fun. Uh oh. No. 
which is reflecting, so that's not going to help me. There we go. Speed monster, good to have another one of those around. Let's just pick up the axe to toss it into the water. Oops, uh, mithril arrows, lovely. Make some more mithril dwarvish spears at long last. Replace the ones I've lost and eaten and so on. More nice halls. of the castle. Okay, I guess we should take care of these soldiers. Well, this is a pretty anticlimactic castle. Oh, wand of polymorph. I saw the brown thing and I thought it was just the brown lizard and I thought it was just a chameleon. But no, it was something getting polymorphed into a crocodile. Whoopsie. Well, let's hope it still has some charges because you never have too many polymorph wands. to scroll there. Oh, well. At least you have a scroll of enchant armor. Um, turtles get way too many scrolls of enchant armor. <laughs> uh, they just don't have enough armor for it to actually be useful. Well, that was fun. Kill the Gnomish Richard so we don't get stunned. Kill the dragon because it's the next biggest threat. And even the dragon was super easy to kill. That it went down much easier than I expected, honestly. No, okay. Why not? So food can technically be made fixed, um, which is why I was reading is not identified. super useful to know that it's not fixed, especially because I can't think of a time when I've seen food. For the stores were there, luckily I can just leave. Right? Where's the stairs? They're somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh, they're under something. That was fun. And now we're on the other side of the castle. Kind of annoying, honestly.
Okay, uh, let's levitate over these holes. And son of a bitch. I could have sworn I had disintegration resistance. Oh, I did it just holy shit. It did 164 damage. That's a lot of damage. Well, that sucked. Um, I guess I should have been wearing my reflection tin. So, like, I believe Disintegration Breath does 1d 255 damage. So, yeah, I guess I should have been more careful. But I've never gotten even close to that amount of damage, so I just intuitively don't think of it as that much of a threat. As long as I have at least some Disintegration Resistance. Wow. Okay then. Well, that was exciting. Well, I'll see you next time, I guess. Bye.